to be human is to be transhuman, to uh, transcend our limitations and to harness whatever technology we have in our, in our reach to peek beyond the veil and to explore the other side. From the moment our ancestors discovered how to harness fire and make tools and use the, the resources around them to basically extend their capabilities, we became a very different species. I think in our day-to-day -day lives, we forget that we're actually just another animal species on this planet. We're another type of primate, you know, a more intelligent one, but not much. I mean, we're the same. If you remove all our technologies, our clothes, our phones, our computers, our electricity, our language even, we're really no different to every other animal species. Except technology augments and enhances us. I mean, even the fire is like an external stomach. A smartphone is like an external brain. They're both augmenting. But let's talk about biochemistry and upgrading that. So I think one of the stresses of the modern world is that we have the biochemical makeup of our ancestors, of our hunter-gatherers, but we have to wake up and go to this schedule, which I think is why people love coffee so much. So I think the fact that the vast majority of people in the world drink coffee every morning um, kind of shows that we're, we're constantly trying to adapt and improve our biochemical makeup for the modern world. The next evolution of that is something called uh, smart drugs or nootropics. So you might have seen them with the movie or the this TV series Limitless with the NCT thing. So I've been trying a thing called Modafinil lately. So it's an interesting kind of drug. It kind of gives you a, a clarity and a mind high um, that makes you really want to focus and get shit done. Um, but I think there's a better way to do it. The issue with every drug we take, with coffee, with alcohol, with all these different prescription drugs and everything, that we're trying to like enhance and maintain our biochemical balance, but they're not accurate. So imagine in the future if we had an um, a implant of some sort that could actually release any type of drugs, almost like on demand, and it, it created a feedback loop with that biochemical makeup. So if you need to be more productive, you just say, you know, play your smartphone, maybe or your watch or something, and then just like release just that right amount, perfectly adapted to your state and your biochemical. So you wake up in the morning and your uh, alarm actually automatically triggers a little release of caffeine. Perfect amount, not too much, not too little, just the right amount to wake you up. And you can do the same for any type of drug like MDMA or acid or alcohol or just anything. It, it would kind of become like microdosing but to an accurate level, accurately mapped to your biochemical makeup. If these implants were networked, they could actually learn from each other and sync people's neurochemistry up based on a certain location or a certain event so that everyone's feeling the exact same thing, the exact same enhancement. 